on Showtime Championship Boxing, the official weigh-in for the interim WBC middleweight world title. Please welcome at this time to the stage. From Oxnard, California, his record is 26 wins, one loss, one no decision, with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Ranked number four middleweight in the world by the WBC, please welcome Hugo the Boss Centeno Jr. And now we invite to the stage his opponent from Houston, Texas, the undefeated WBC number one middleweight contender and the former IBF junior middleweight world champion, Jamal Taylor. Jamal Charlo, excuse me. Check that. Jamal, the future of boxing, Charlo. And now first to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, for this interim title, we're weighing in at 160 pound weight limit. First, with a record of 26 wins in his 28 professional bouts, the WBC number four ranked contender, Hugo the Boss Centeno Jr. One hundred fifty-eight and a half pounds for Hugo Centeno Jr. One fifty-eight and a half pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, not to be confused with another great former champion. He's WBC's top middleweight contender, one of boxing's sensational fighting twins, known as the future of boxing, the undefeated Jamal Charlo. He weighs in right at the middleweight limit of 160 pounds. 160 pounds for Jamal Charlo. Well, we'll have our fighters suit up. We'll have a photo opportunity. Then we'll hear from Steve Farhood with a couple of interview questions for both of these fighters. Once again, for the interim WBC middleweight world championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the interim WBC middleweight world champion, Jamal Charlo, Hugo the Boss Centeno Jr. Hugo Centeno Jr., your last fight, probably the best win of your career, a one-punch knockout. What did that fight against Emmanuel Aleem do for your confidence? Uh, you know what, besides my confidence, I feel like it catapulted me back to the top, you know, with all the, the best stars and the top five in the middleweight division. So, uh, you know, my confidence is through the roof and I feel like I could do that to anybody. You're the tallest opponent Jamal Charlo has ever faced. Are we gonna be looking for a fight in ring center from you or are you gonna be looking for that one punch knockout again? Uh, you know, honestly, uh, whatever opportunity presents itself, I'll take it. Whether it's a fight or a chess match, we'll make it happen. I'm going to switch it up, mix it in a little bit of both, and uh, give the fans what they want. I saw you were smiling at Jamel Charlo's comments over here. Do you feel like sometimes you're fighting two Charlo brothers? No, nah, not really. If I have to, I'll fight both of them. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I focus on the task at hand. I'm just, I know these little mind games and how they play. And, uh, you know, if it's not him, it's his brother or vice versa. So, you know, I, I know what it is. At the end of the day, it's me and his brother, not me and the other Charlo. We wish you luck. Good luck. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Hugo. We'll get Jamal in here. One question. 
gentleman and Jamal, we're just going to ask you one question. Okay, one? Only one. Okay. At the fighter meetings, you told us this fight was originally planned for March. Yeah. It got canceled when you got, had an injury. And you said you were very frustrated. You're going to try to take that frustration out on him tomorrow night? No, I was just frustrated at the moment. This time I'm having fun. So, look, hey, turn up, Brooklyn. That's it. One question. Good luck. Right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you.